Hi, it's Tuesday night, and I'm Katie here with Hel uh, Helmar Live Ustream. I'm going to be do using some Helmar glue, our um, craft glue, our 450 quick dry adhesive, and our um, quick fix adhesive tape runner tonight. Those I will be showcasing those with some scrap and sports and more fun sporty papers. Doing a fun layout with unexpected sports layout using a baby and lots of fun papers and glue and I hope you will all enjoy this. I will um, switch you over now to my other camera so you can see what I'm working on. So these are some of my papers that I'm using today and stickers and all the glues that I'll be using. We have the Helmar 450 quick dry adhesive, the Helmar premium craft glue, and the Helmar Quick Fix Adhesive Tape Runner and the refills because I know while I'm doing this that we're going to need some of the refills. So I'm going to move these out of my way, tuck them back so I can get going. There are a couple things I want to start with because I need some items to dry before I, I use them on the layout. So I'm going to do those items first and then I'll build the layout. So I'm going to pull out my old bottle caps. I've probably had these since I started scrapping. I don't know if some of you have some of these in your stash. And some sporty stickers. They have the balls on them. They have a basketball and soccer balls. These are all in baseball. These are um, cardstock stickers from Scrap and Sports and More, which I designed for them also. And we're going to use these stickers. I'm, I might have to reshape them, cut them out, and put them in our bottle caps. But I'm going to put them in it, and then I'm going to use the premium craft glue over them to hold them in to give them a little bit of depth and shine. It dries clear and fast with minimal bubbles so that's why I'm using the craft glue to do this so I'm going to see I'm going to just take my baseball sticker from the cardstock stickers I'm going to place it right in the center this one fits perfectly so you can see right there that's going to be one of my embellishments and then I have a basketball here which I think I might have to trim up more cardstock stickers. Yep, I'm going to have to trim that one up to make it fit. Now the great thing about this is it doesn't have to be perfectly um, shaped because when you put it in there and you put the glue over it, you won't even notice if some of the edges are jagged or um, it isn't quite the right size. So I'm just cutting out my basketball cutting just that had some black trim on it so I'm cutting that out trimming that along there it's just one little piece so I'm going to trim it I'm going to pop that right in there no I think I need to trim it just a little bit more maybe if I can get it out oh I don't need to look at that I'm just going to tuck it in and give it a bit of an edge. I kind of like that. Can you see where the edge is showing? And that's a good alternative if you can't get that out there. I guess that shows that Scrap and Sports card talk stickers are quite sticky. There we go. Oh, I kind of, I do. I like giving it a little bit of an edge. So I'm just going to pop that right in there. So we have a basketball and we have a baseball. And now I'm going to, I don't have any real soccer balls left, so I'm going to take this one, this cardstock sticker, and I'm going to cut it down, at least so it looks like a soccer ball. So I want it in there. I'm just going to use my fingernail to do it around, leaving that corner so I can pull it back up and then I'll just trim where I made an edge with my fingernails. I don't know if you can see how I've tucked that in there. So now I'll pull that back out and I'll trim along the edges.
There we go. Look at that. Slide it down there. Even though it's not perfect, you really can't tell. So I'm going to move these things aside. And now I'm going to take my, where did it go? My Helmar Premium Craft Glue, and I'm just going to put a coat over my caps. I don't know if you can, can you see me do this? I'm just going to pull that off so it doesn't have a lot of bubbles in here there's a couple but not enough to really be noticeable but you can see even now where how it makes it shiny so I'm going to drop it just a little bit let it spread out I'm going to add a little more where the, it isn't full all the way so once I do that I can see what my empty spots it up. Mm. There we go. I'm going to put that to the side and let it start drying. I'm going to do the same thing with the other two. Just going to fill these right up to the rim on this these that might be a little easier than how I did the last one. Being generous with it and this helped minimize my bubbles. I'm just wiping the string away. It will dry on my hands and I can just rub it off. So this one's all done. And I'm going to tap it when I lay it down. There we go. And the baseball is my last one. Filling that right up to the brim. That really did help minimize the bubbles. There we go. I'm just going to wipe this away nice and easy. Clean it off. You can see how shiny it is. Let me see if I let it focus. There we go. Nice and shiny. Hi, how are you doing tonight? So glad you joined me. So just one little bubble, and I think that's pretty good. I'm going to tap that down there just to see if that bubble will pop out. Oh yeah, it's minimizing. So I'm going to put this away now. And the next thing I want to work on, so it will dry while I'm building the layout, is on my tags. So I'm pulling out some fun papers and some tags by L Studio. So we have all these fun sports tags. They come, came in a package from, hi Anita, how are you doing? A fun package from um, L Studio with all kinds of sports titles and stuff in it. I'm, I just pulled out a few to use on this layout. So I'm going to be creating a background with each of the sports words I've used with some fun matching papers from Scrap and Sports. Um, some of them I'll use the words that say baseball or hockey or soccer and some will just use the fun printed side of the back. This particular one I'm, I have the basketball with the basketball papers from Title Sports Line. And I'm just going to, these art tickets, these fun tags, are two by four inches. So I just want to create a little bit of a border around there, show some of the words. So I'm going to do two and a half.
I want to make sure that the stars are going in the right direction. So maybe I'm going to be doing it this way. Four and a half. There we go. Four and a half by two and a half. Gosh, I can't even measure right tonight. That was by two and a half. <laughs> there we go. That looks a little better. And I'm going to do that with the rest of the papers that match. So first we have the basketball one. Let's see how fun the stars look underneath that. And now I'm going to do the same thing. We have the baseball with the matching red. And this is the baseball paper from Title Sports. So I'm going to do two and a half. So you all must have a commercial again. I think I have it on my side too. There we go. Much better. <laughs> that way I don't have to listen to the commercials. I still have the Ustream up. So a matching baseball right there. Okay, and how about some hockey? Did this just start? I started um, probably about 15 minutes ago. I'm creating a, um, a sports inspired layout. Oh, could you not hear before? I'm going to keep cutting while I chat with you. And I have some hockey paper, fun hockey paper from the scrap and Oh good, I'm glad. I'm sorry you couldn't hear earlier. Um, some hockey paper from the title sports line. I scrap and sports and more. Again, I'm cutting this at two and a half by four to match my fun sports words from L Studio. How are you doing tonight? So now we have the hockey background. Oh, I love how much how perfectly they match. We're going to do some soccer. And this is the soccer paper from the title sports line at Scrap and Sports and more. Again, cutting this one at two and a half. Now I know it looks like I'm wasting all this paper, but I have lots of this paper and I've used this paper for many a soccer layout for my daughter. Hello, Cheryl! So two and a half by four for each one of these. I, mean, I think I have two more sports to do. So our soccer. Football. Again, more um, from title sports papers by Scrap and Sports. Oh, I'd love to see that, Anita. All right. And the football. And actually, I could use the stars or the football words. We'll see how they match up when we're, when we're building the layout. And my last sport, golf. So the golf word, golf paper from the title sports line. So two and a half by four and a half of these. Oh, how more decoupage, I, I hope. Okay. So now we have a whole bunch of sports cut out with the backgrounds. Golf, football, soccer, hockey, baseball, basketball. Great sports. What are we going to do with these? We're going to actually start gluing these down and mounting them and trimming um, them with some black paint. Uh, I want to give it a bit of dimension on the scrapbook page, but with not, but not too messy. 
So I'm going to grab my Helmar Quick Fix Adhesive and I'm going to just glue down my fun sports words from L Studio. And I think I want them in the lower corner. Um, how about we make these even? Three stars, three words, sports words. So I'm just taking my quick fix adhesive and putting some down, rolling it nice and easy. And I wanted to showcase the stars there. So I'm just going to whip these up real quick. They didn't have one for weights. I think the other extra ones left were fishing and bowling and, um, oops, sorry, did I knock you? Tennis. Fishing, bowling, and tennis were the other ones. None of them applied in our household. But they, Scrap and Sports does have gym wrap paper in the, from their sports and activities line. It's pretty darn cool. I'm just slowly applying this, making it even. A little bit goes a long way. And I have one more. My hockey is left. Okay. So now I have all mine mounted on the cool wor on words, sports papers. They're matching words or the matching color stars. I'm going to put that all the way for a minute. Now I want to mount a few of them on cardboard. Could do it on grunge board, could do it on leftover um, boxes. I wanted to add a little bit of um, dimension. So I'm going to mount three of these on the card on the um, cardboard. So I need to cut these to two and a half by four and a half, the same size that I cut the borders for the words. So I'm actually going to pull out my big tonic cutter as to do this quick and efficiently. So I'm going to slide that in there. smaller. It doesn't have to be perfect. So two and a half. And that's what's great about these tonics is that they cut, cut through so many thick items. So two and a half by four and a half. I need one more. I've got three right there. And another two and a half inches. Oh, I didn't know you could watch it from your phone. That's pretty cool. And I'll put an extra one just in case I make a mistake, which has been, been known to happen. So there we go. So I have four pieces of cardboard, same size as my mounted words. And we're going to glue three of them on. So I'm going to glue the three with the words on them to make them pop out a little bit more. So I need to glue these down before I paint the edges. And we're going to paint all the edges of all, all of them. Where There it is. Um, just these ones I wanted to have set up ahead of time. So I'm going to use, uh, maybe I will pull out my PVA glue, my craft and hobby PVA glue for this because I like how it works on cardboard. So I'm going to open that up and it dries fast. So the Helmar Craft and Hobby PVA glue, it dries great on cardboard and paper projects um, and it dries quick. So this is just what we need. So I'm going to 
maybe I'm going to. There we go. I had to peel the little bit of glue that I didn't wipe away. It's important. Just try and remember to wipe away the glue when you close up your cap. Be generous with this. It dries clear, so if it seeps out of the edge a little bit, it doesn't really matter. So for those of you who have just joined us, I'm Katie with Halmar. I'm um, building a sports-inspired layout using lots of Halmar products tonight and scrap and sports and more papers and cardstock stickers. I did it the opposite way on the paper this time instead of the cardstock. It doesn't really matter. It will both have they'll both stick. It's whatever is your preference. And I'm just going to rub the edges down to make sure they're there and sticking well. I'm going to do it again here. I didn't do that last time. All right. And you can wipe away any glue that comes on the edges. It will dry clear and it rubs right off your hands, believe it or not. And here's my last one I'm going to do. Now I couldn't find my splat mat tonight. I'm sure that doesn't surprise any of you who have watched me before that I tend to misplace my commonly used items. So I'm going to try and paint without getting messy. So I'm just going to pull out some very old Heidi Swap acrylic paint. It's one of my favorites. It's nice and thick. It dries really super fast. Um, and it's a nice dark black. You don't miss that it's on and on a project. So I have a scrap piece of paper. I'm going to edge my now framed in some mounted words. Let them dry and then start building the layout. But you'll see why it needs to dry. <clears throat> Hi Grace! So now I'm just taking a little bit of the paint and I'm going to edge these. So I want to smush this a little bit here because I don't want it to come out. So I'm just rubbing my sponge together and I'm going to rub it along the edges. So if you can see, can you see now how it's added a little dimension to this? Makes the green stand out, the soccer stand out. And I'm going to put that away to the side and let it dry. Whoop! It is almost empty and I'm not even sure she still makes this paint, which is a bummer. Because this and the, her white paint are my, are my absolute faves. Alright, so we're going to do it with the ones that aren't mounted too. Just running it along the sides adding the black. Now you really wouldn't believe how quick this paint dries. A minute. Okay. I'm just going to do it to all of them now. And I'll moisten my sponge with some more paint when it looks like the black's not getting on it anymore. Oops. Oh, not bad. Got a little on my baseball word, but that looks pretty cool. I'm good with that. I think I need a little more paint. I'm just squishing it in my sponge so it's not getting all over my hands. Heidi Swap, yes, Heidi Swap paint. Does she still make it? Hi, Vicki. I got a little much there, so I'm going to take the other side of the sponge and just kind of wipe it off. I didn't want that much there, but that's okay. There we go. This one looks like Halloween, doesn't it? Orange and black. I 
think we have two more to go. It's not going to show a lot on this, but it will show if I use a little heavier layer on the black on black. Can you see that? How cool is that? Even when it dries, that dimension will be there, the, comp the contrast of blacks. I love that you can see the, the different. And one more, the golf one. So I'm going to add a little more pink because it is one that's mounted. And I want the edges to get done. Really trying to minimize my messiness today. My need for my hand washing. Okay, I'm going to put that down. And now I have all of my sports words finished, framed, and painted on the edge. So I'm going to tuck away my paint. And my very well used sponge. And now I'm going to start working on my layout. So I've given you a lot of sports words. I haven't told you why. I don't have a child that plays all these sports. But I do have a grandson who, since the day he was born, my husband has said, I wonder what sports he's going to play. And at his first birthday party, he got balls. Footballs, baseballs, soccer balls all he wanted to do was play with the balls all he really wanted to do was eat the balls but what was key to this to my husband was he didn't want all the doll toys he didn't want the trucks what he wanted were, was anything that had to do with sports just reinforcing his constant i wonder what sports he's going to play I am scrapping my favorite subject, my little man, although I have to say Lily is one of my favorite subjects too. Um, so of all the sports that I pulled from the L Studio pack tags, though all these sports are sports that somebody in our family has played at some point and played well. So I'll be highlighting them on this. I've pulled out basil paper, some white and some black and I'm thinking that hmm I'm not quite sure which order I want to put them in whether I want the black as the background or the white as the background hmm maybe I need a different color Maybe a nice bright red. I'm thinking a nice bright red would be lovely. Or maybe even a yellow. I thought I was going to stick with traditional colors today, but that might not be the case. Or even a green. Green and yellow are my favorite colors to use these days. Probably doesn't hurt that I'm Irish. Well, I'm thinking the green is it. There we go, with the photo of Chase. She is beautiful too, and she's got quite the spirit. Okay, so I think this is where I'm going with this. I think I want to, to go with the green and the black. I don't know why I keep moving myself around, green and the black to start my layout. So I'm just going to trim my green paper down to 11 by 11, if I can find where I put my cutter. Move, move little man out of the way. I'm using my Fiskars trimmer for this. Very portable and very even. So cutting the green paper to 11 by 11. Now 
I think I don't need, I don't need to trim my picture, so I'll be done with my cutter for the time being. I'll pull it back out when I cut some more of the sports paper. So I'm going to stick this down, and I'm going to stick it down with a Helmar Quick Fix adhesive, and I'm going to run just along my edges a bit of my Helmar Quick Fix adhesive. Can you see me doing this along the border? And I need to change it, which I told you I probably would have to do that. And changing this is very easy if I can see tonight. Of course it's not going to be easy because I change, I, come on Katie. There we go. <laughs> it is really easy to just pull this. So you're put it, pulling out the refill piece and the, we, when you buy the, these, there's two in a packet. Just rip it open. I like that I don't have to buy a whole new piece for this. I like that it comes in a whole replacement piece, but this stays. Much less recycling here. I'm trying to remember now. I do know how to do this. There we go, nice and easy. Let me show you again. Open it up from the top, pull it out. So I pulled out my empty one. I'm going to throw that in the trash. This is my refill. Set it right in, of course, and snap it closed. Hi, Susan. So I'm going to continue using this. Now it takes just a second to run it. And I'm going to put just a few spots in the middle. So I, I have my own way of doing it, all around the outside, five on the inside. It's my own little style. So I'm actually going to off-center this a little bit. So a quarter of an inch border on the left side, on the right side, and a quarter of an inch border on the bottom. And I'm just going to put this down, make sure there are no bubbles in there, nice and easy. And I want to set him down. I know I need to use him, I want to use him. So I want to pull out my words. Where am I going to use them? How am I going to use them? Hockey, baseball, Football, soccer, golf, so maybe I do need to trim my little man down just a hair and I think maybe we're going to mount him. There we go. That's it. This is it. Now I have the embellishments that I've added, that I've made, the, um, the fun bottle caps that I made earlier with the glue. They're still drying. They're almost totally set. So I'm going to trim down my little man just a hair and take a quarter of an inch off the top do, do, do. and a quarter of an inch off the bottom making this a, a five and a half by four photo of my cute little man And giving me just enough room to put all of my framed sports words. There we go. So this, when I'm building a layout, this is what I do. I sit it there. If I like where it is, I that's where I put it. 
I'm pretty happy with that. And I think I want the picture to pop, so I'm going to frame the picture and I'm going to use some um, zap dots to give it height. So what color would I like to do? I don't want to do red and not white. I think I might go back with black. Let's see if I have any black scraps so I'm not wasting a piece of paper. Pull up my, my, my fun scrap bag that I showed you guys last time. And I sure do have a flat piece of paper that would be perfect for this. Already cut six by 12. So I want to cut this, that's four. So I'm going to do four and a quarter. Perfect. Now I only want the borders on the sides and not the top. So I'm going to glue this down and then trip the, whole, the top off because as you saw when I had it laid down, I had just enough room. Now I keep getting paint everywhere and I don't, it's dried on my hands. It must just be chipping off of my hands. Okay, so back to my Helmar quick, quick fix adhesive, tripping over my words. I'm going to do the outside of my picture and then two spots on the inside and I'm going to make this flush against the bottom just framing the two sides it's not something I often do but since we didn't need more height I'm just pulling off I should wash my hands pulling off the extra adhesive on the side there we go. And that just rubs right off with your finger without ruining the photo. So I'm just trimming the top to that five and a half inch mark. There we go. I'm leaving them there so I have an idea of where I want to put this. Okay, so I'm going to put the picture down first because I want to build the rest of my layout around the picture. I'm going to grab Where are my zap dots? Black zap dots. Now Cheryl, I think you had said something about these not being available on the Helmar site anymore. Was I wrong? Am I wrong or am I right? I'm just going, you can just the same way you do any other zap dots. You have the sticky side. I'm going to stick it down. It's kind of hard to see black on black. Okay. Oh, there you go. You can see them right there. I'm doing three across the width. And I'll do two more sets of three across the middle. That way it doesn't sink in the middle. Okay, so I can see that I put 12 on here all together. And these are the quarter inch ones. And they have about an eighth of an inch in height. I'm just going to peel the tops off. So now they're double sided adhesives. I like the black ones for this because I was using black cardstock so it would, it would um, not show if you were looking at, from, at it from the side. And these come right off nice and easy. And I'm making a mess. They're still there? Oh, thank you for linking that up, Grace. They are great. All right, there we go. So it's off. 
I'm going to turn this towards you a little bit so you can see my little process. So I'm going to stick little man down what I spy as the middle. And I think I've explained before that I can hang a picture dead center on a wall and even, but every single one of my layouts is crooked. I'm just blessed. <laughs> So I think I'm going to switch this around a little bit. Where's my baseball? Hockey, baseball, soccer, golf. Hmm. Yep, this is where I am glad that I cut out the fourth piece of paper because I'm going to pop the baseball so they all, all of my words on my right hand side of my layout all have this dimension and then the other two over here are, are flat and the dimension that's given is in the photo. So I'm going to glue this on and paint it up real quick and let it dry. I didn't use this one. I used the Craft and Ho Hobby PVA glue on the cardboard, which is just leftover piece of cardboard from a mailing. I keep a big old shelf of them underneath where I, my printer is. So I'm just sticking the PVA glue on onto the cardboard and putting this here. And I don't actually need to add more glue um, paint, do I? It overlaps and just enough, so I'm going to press on the corners so it lays flat. I'm making sure that the glue gets all the way to the edges so there's no sticking, unsticking, so make sure that I've spread it out. And the glue dries clear, so if it, over, if it sticks, if it like sneaks out, you won't be able to see it when it dries. So there we go. Ah, perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to glue down my words, and to do that, I am going to use, I think I'm going to use the 450 Quick Dry Adhesive, that way they're not sliding all over the place when I go to put my other, my embellishments and my title on here. So now I'm just going to take my words that are all pimped up, <laughs> and I'm going to add the 450 to the back. Now you want to turn it over and let it drop to the bottom to get the bottles out the tip to that so and I'm just going you don't need a whole whole lot of the 450 but I'm gonna make sure my corners have it it's nice and sticky and it dries super fast and I'm just going to put that in the corner and tap it down I'm going to hold it there for just a second And it's going to stay right there. No movement. It <laughs> and I'm going to do that with the rest of my words. So let me finish this up. So does anybody have kids that play sports or used to play sports? Anything that I don't have down on here? Anyone... I buy it, um, HelmarUSA.com has glue, lots and lots of glue. I think I put the link at the very top of the chat, Vicki. I'm just continuing to put the 450 on the back of all my words. I'm trying to line it up evenly. There we go.
That's pretty cool, Anita. Junior Navy. So is that, your children do that? My dad's retired army and I haven't done any pages with him in uniform. I'm not even sure I have any pictures of him in uniform. Last one. And these I am just trying to center above and below Little Man. Oh, and Little Man's name is Chase. This is my grandson. He is 17 months old. He is cute as the Dickens. And I'm just going to take my sweater and use my fingers just to take out any smudges that I had put on my fingers. Now if you do this lightly on a picture that's not too glossy, it actually works. It also helps to take off any glue edges without ruining the picture. There we go. So what I'd like to show you is I use the 450. It's what been a couple minutes. These aren't moving. They're stable. I can shake it. See that? That's how fast the 450 dries, and even with heavier products. So I'd like to add my little bottle caps that I made earlier with the Scrap and Sports stickers and the, um, the craft glue over them. You can see how nice and shiny that is. So all these are, are old bo bottle caps. But Lily's going to try lacrosse in the spring, Vicki. She's no more spring soccer. So I'm just going to add soccer, these bottle caps. That's not soccer. <laughs> Basketball, baseball, soccer. on here. I'm trying to think. I'm going to glue the soccer ball and the baseball down flat with the 450, but I'm going to actually use a circular um, zap dot, white zap dot for the basketball to give it a little bit of height. So I'm just going to take my dry. So I made these at the very beginning of the class and you can see how fast they dried. Now I can turn it over and I'm just putting a little bit of the 450 on the back of this. There's my baseball. Some more 450 on the back of this. I love that it sticks to metals. It sticks to metals to paper, paper to paper, materials. It doesn't stain. And my soccer ball. So now I'm going to close up my 450 and wipe the tip of it with my fingers and then rub them together because that's how I get it off. Rub it together and then I'll sweep when I'm all done, I promise. But my hands aren't tacky at all any, in that way either. I, I know it's one of the best things I love about that. So I'm going to, I know I have some circular zap dots. I do, I have some black ones. And I'm pretty sure I have white circular ones too. Yes, black and white zap dots, half inch rounds, love them. So I'm going to use one of the black ones. And 
I'm just going to place that on the back of this and it's nice and sticky it's not going to come off off the middle at all so I'm going to put the basketball right there and now I think it needs a title So I think I might run the words down the sides and do them sideways to give it a little bit of, um, so you kind of have to move it to look at it. Well, I like it that, if you see my layouts, I tend to put my titles wherever I have empty spots. So sometimes they're curved and sometimes they're horizontal and sometimes they're vertical and sometimes you might even find them upside down. So this is my the base of my layout so far. And I pulled out black and white stickers, not knowing what I would want to use. So I, I love the um, the thickers, the foam ones. Reminds me of childhood foam alphabets and all that stuff. And I have actually happened to have two of the American Crafts Delight Black stickers. So let's hope that it has enough. And I think I'm going to title this way. Do I want to do it? What sport will you play? Because I think if I do it this way, what sport It will look backwards. I'm going to start it and see how it goes. That's the one nice thing about the, the American Crafts stickers is that I can actually move them when I'm done. What sport? Well, will, will you play? Hmm. Let's see how we do. So, now, one of my favorite things to do is when my thickers don't stick like they're supposed to. The foam ones don't tend to have a problem with that. But some of the cards, card, um, cardboard ones do, is I like to use my craft glue or my 450 to stick them down and so they're not moving. So I need a T from the other one. Oh, please tell me I have one. Oh, I don't think I have enough. Well, I'll have to fix that. So let's move this up a little bit. Hmm, I'm not sure I like that. Chase is your son's middle name? I missed that. It is a very cool name, but I think he was cruelly named because all we do is chase him now. What? Hmm, sport. I think my brain is shutting down. I can't even remember how to spell sport. have to make do with my T. So let's see what letters I can pull together for this. So I'm going to do a little trimming. I have an F. And I'm going to trim the top of it. Oh, I think this 
this might work. Or actually, no, if I did it upside down, that won't work. I know I've done this before. How have I done it? That way. So. And I'm going to take the other F and trim off his little tail right there. And that will make the other side of it even. You won't even know that I manipulated my alphabets. This is one of my saving things when I need an extra letter and there aren't enough in that alphabet that I'm looking for. And there is my T. And what's so great about that is it's foam. You cannot even tell that I cut that apart. What sport will? Well, let's get some L's in here. So to fit all of these, I'm actually going to overlap my eye on top of here. Another thing I do in some of my layouts is I make my words have a lift somewhere in them. Will you? Should I spell that whole word out? I am sure you guys are happy I am talking to myself today. Y O and U. What sport will you play? There we go. I think I got it all in there. How excellent is that? like one word, doesn't it? One letter. A. Y. Hmm. Oh, I think I do want to do it that way. I'm going to angle that up. P. Oh, what do you all think? A. <laughs> Why? So let's turn it. So it's kind of going into that word. I want it to. Am I the only one that talks to myself too? I feel like I talk to myself all the time when I scrap. That looks good. That doesn't look good. I'm trying to make this look balanced. Having a hard time here, there. I think this might be better for me. These thickers, they really do come off. Play. I think I've got it. I think I got it! Yay! I think I've got it. So, let me see if I can pull this up for you all. So you can see the whole layout. Maybe not. 
Maybe not. There we go. There we go. What sport will you play? I think I'm pretty happy with this. So, lots of Helmar glue in this. Lots of Helmar glue. We used um, the premium craft glue to, <coughs> excuse me, to cover the um, the stickers in the bottle caps. Gives them a nice shine. Gives it some dimension. We also used that with, um, what else do we use that with? I'm pretty sure I used the craft glue with something else. Nope, nope, I didn't. I used the PVA Hobby um, glue to stick on my um, framed words onto the card stock on the cardboard. I used my Helmar Quick Fix adhesive runner for all the scrapbooking parts of this. So f to put the um, my words down on the paper, my paper to paper, my picture to paper, all that is the Helmar Quick Fix adhesive. And the 450 I use to adhere my, oh my, I can't even move these, my cardboard. Look at that, I can't even move those. So all of my framed words. Same thing with, um, oh, I didn't use that, but on these, I use the 450 quick dry adhesive on this. 450 on this, they're not going anywhere, I love it. And then on this one, this, so on this I use, can you see that? The black pop dot, the black zap dot, oops, which makes it pop. And the black zap dots, which actually kind of blend in to make that pop. So we have this cute layout of my grandson and I'm not really sure what sport he will play. I think that's it for me tonight. I've finished the layout. I know I mean I was just a little over an hour. Used paint, used glue, used lots of glue, used paint. Um, all dried within this time. Nothing this could go right into your album right now because everything is dry. And cute. Does anybody have any questions? Well, I guess that's it for me tonight. Thank you for joining me and doing a really cute um, getting sporty with Helmar and my adorable grandson. And um, hopefully in a couple years, I'll have some layouts for you all with whatever sport he chooses he, that he wants to play. I can't, oh my gosh, Vicki, you are so right. I love that because I was wondering where I was going to journal. So that's perfect. I will journal on those tags. Thank you, Vicki. I appreciate all your little bits of wisdom. All right, this is Katie from Helmar, and I'm signing off for the evening. I hope you all have a great week. Thank you for joining me. Bye.